more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Top billing. No, maybe he slides down even further than that. But if that's not the case, I like this cat from BC named Hunter Long. I've been watching him for a minute as well. Uh, he's a guy that will fit more of a possession type guy, but he could also he can also kind of stretch the field as well. He may be going to stretch the field and just go up over you and get it. But he's a guy that can actually block his ass off as well. Uh, he's going to get after a 6'5", 255 type cat right there. I yep. mean, you talking about being a power forward out there, getting it off the top shelf, just being physical, getting after it. It's going to be hard to find another George Kittle. Yo, top billing to ya. All right, y'all. I know it's been a while since your boy has talked about the Miami Dolphins, but guess what? I'm back like I never left. Back with some more goodies for you. Doing a study on my man Hunter Long. As you saw there in the previous clip, I was on uh, another YouTuber show. I ain't no YouTuber though, you know what I'm saying? But I was on a YouTuber show. My man Green Bean covers the New York Jets, and he wanted me on to talk about the tight ends. And as you see there, Hunter Long was one of the guys that I mentioned there. And what do you know? The damn Dolphins go out and draft that man. They drafted several other guys that I focused on before the draft. None more important than my man, the Houston Rocket, Jalen Waddle. That dude can absolutely fly. And if you think about this, the things that the Miami Dolphins can achieve this year, man, can be incredible. No doubt about that. They are coming for that number one spot on defense. Mad props to the Baltimore Ravens, the Washington football team, and the New York Giants, and a few other teams as well that's coming for that number one spot. And when you marry that with the type of offense that it can have, a very explosive offense led by my man, the Samoan sniper, Tua Tungo Valoa, uh, you have to respect that no matter who you are, right? Coach Flores is doing his thing out there, loading up that personnel. They did a great job with the draft, in my opinion. They did a great job with free agency, in my opinion. The Miami Dolphins are on a serious come up, and they were already good. So imagine that, right? Imagine that. So before I do the Hunter Long thing, obviously, man, you know, I got to do the whole spill, man, and talking about the type of weapons that they have and how you would be able to get this guy in line, having a guy like Jalen Waddle, like I said before, and then you have already Will Fuller in free agency to stretch that field. We know that dude can go and get it with the best of them, if not the best. He may be the best vertical threat in the entire operation, so imagine that. The entire, that's mean the entire NFL. So then, of course, you have Devontae Parker. You move him to more of a, a complimentary role, maybe not relied upon to do and do the heavy lifting. Then he may actually end up looking like a number one wide receiver after all. Mike Gesicki, what? Come on, man. Mike Gesicki is a damn animal. Now and then with the, the ancillary guys that they have, of course, but Hunter Long. So as much as I like Hunter Long, I did not necessarily understand the pick when you factor in a Durham Smythe. I'm pretty sure you guys are come in and talk to me about that. But if you're talking about best player available, then, hey, shit, what are you going to do? You can't argue with that. That dude is a damn animal. He, I'm not sure if they're thinking about eventually pushing uh, Gesicki off the roster, maybe not having to pay him. You got all those defensive stars you have to pay. I'm not, I don't know about that. That would be kind of crazy to me there. But, hey, you never say never in this particular business. Uh, they have a right to do what they want with their own team and allocate the type of money that they want to. But I want to imagine it's probably going to push Duran Smythe out, out, the, out the window, right? <laughs> not really out the window. Come on, not like that. You get what I'm saying there. Um, but, hey, we don't know. You just never know. So I talked a lot about what they could do with 12 personnel. Obviously, 11 personnel would be the way to go because you still have the, the ability to get Fuller, Parker, Waddle, on the field at the same time with the Gasicki, that's going to be your your M.O. right there. But when you do go to your 12 personnel, you need somebody to block. I think he's going to be a better blocker than the Smythe. And, of course, Gasicki, who's probably not that good of a blocker. You can't really say he's not that good of a blocker because that's not really his focus. It wasn't in college at Notre Dame. And uh, I'm sorry, at Penn State. And it wasn't really a focus for him with the Dolphins because they want to utilize his athleticism and his ability to catch all over the damn yard. So we should see that probably uh, come to come to fruition even more than it has before. So where does a guy like Hunter Long fit at? Man. <sighs> sky is the limit, baby. Sky is the limit. Maybe not even the sky. What do they say? The roof is the ceiling. Something like that, right? So 
man, I can't wait to, to get on this right here. I'm not going to front and act like I have a ton of film on Hunter Long. He doesn't have a ton of production there, but it's more of a projection thing. I think this guy can be very, very good in the NFL, and he does have a certain – uh, style that he plays with that I think fits with what the Dolphins want to do when you're talking about marrying that damn run game. Uh, he's going to be able to get in there, so I'll focus a little bit on the blocking and everything as well. So, man, with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get to it. A lot of carryover from what your man Hunter Long did at BC because it's a legitimate pro-style offense. A lot of under center, three, five, seven step drops, sight adjust. So you'll have him playing in line. You'll have him playing flexed a little bit. So the learning curve should be not as extravagant for him as it will be for some other guys if you want to marry what they're going to try to do in that Studisville scheme there. So you're going to get my man going against one Isaiah Simmons right here, one of the freakiest guys you'll ever see. He's just going to get vert up the seam here. You're going to have Isaiah Simmons turn around and running with him, and you can see the type of athleticism that he brings, especially with that size and everything. Motion there. Got him get up on Isaiah. Turn around the track. Look at him. Go up and get it. One more time full speed from that particular direction. Look at that. Uh. Ooh. That shit is hard. Check this out right here. You'll see him going. Look at that. Immediately turn the track. Great throw. But look at the catch radius from someone six foot five. Being able to turn and track like that. Y'all know what I say, baby. Starling Marte style going up and getting it right over Isaiah Simmons. Should see a lot more of that in the NFL if he gets his chance for sure. Long here, going to trade. Then he's going to work the block and release game, get out to the flat, and then you can see his athleticism in the open field. Not an athlete like a Gesicki. I think Gesicki's more fluid than him, but... He's a powerful guy, and he's got some athleticism to him. Check this out right here. Boom. I like about this. Look at him navigate the blocking. Pretty decent agility right there. One more time, full speed. Trade over. Now watch him. Actually, let's slow this one down right here. Look at him. Get into the blocking. Really sell that. Angle off of that. <laughs> My man thought he had him a bunny right there. He got fooled with the influence block by Hunter Long right there. And then... Boom, make that guy miss. He probably didn't want to tackle Big Hunter long anyway. But look at him navig navigate the blocking. Let's see it from this angle. Block. Oh, hold on. Let me ID him. See him right here. Getting off on the strong side. Six technique. And look. Ooh. Come on, let's go back. Come on, man. Inside shoulder force. <laughs> Why he start diving already? What's the use in diving? That's when you know you don't want to tackle somebody. You out in space. You don't want to tackle somebody. You start diving early. You could just essentially get up on them, right? Get more leverage and then trying to wrap and roll with it right there. But he dives from far out. His hands all spread across. He just didn't want that open field funk. He ain't wanted that man to lower his shoulder and soften his stool. So he took the easy way out right there. Salute to you, man. Just kidding right there. Um, but you can see him right here and look, navigate the blocking. He was going to go on the outside. He sees the blocking coming. Obviously, work off the inside hip of that. Show its agility right there. Get downhill a little bit more. Good run, man. Good catch and run from this kid. A King's Ransom. 23 personnel. That's how physical BC is. And that's the type of scheme that he came from that they can add to the Miami Dolphins. And hell, who's to say they won't sometimes switch it up and maybe have Smythe? Long and Gasicki on the field at the same time. This is a King's Ransom here. Look at this. Two backs, three tight ends. That's not hard. Come on. You'll get him here. He's essentially just running an over route right there. The safety here, the free safety, I believe he gets a little bit too far over his skis there, and he's unable to turn around and run once he realizes this is not a run. And uh, Hunter Long gets on him kind of quick. Look at that. Play action. Got him. Uh, rack him. See it right there. Gave him. That's how you formation somebody to death, right? I call that schemed to death. That was my original branding when I first started out. Schemed to death. Look at that. Scheme got him. Back to the basket. Play action fake. Pulling the guard and everything. Look at all the eyes on that run game right there. You see Hunter Long right here sneak out the back door. Great throw. Delete him that way. Hell of a play. 
good catch by Long. We can see him kind of go up and high point this one right here. Really nothing to it. Getting on a slant. Bends it in. Look at that. That's just what being six foot five will get you. Throw is extremely high. But look at him. He doesn't even have to go up that far to get it. But just a natural hands catcher. But look at the radius. That won't do anything for a Tua Tonga Valoa. You got a whole bunch of missing match pieces there, man. You got the smaller, quicker guys. You got the bigger guys like a Gasicki and a Parker and a Long, Smythe and these guys. So just giving him a full basketball team to throw with there. He can make you right even when you're wrong. If you throw high like that, get that completion percentage even above 64%, which people seem to have uh, not noticed. Man completed 64% of his passes, 11 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Coming off a damn hip injury. That people didn't even think he would play. No, I don't, don't want to get into that right now, man. Fuck out of here. Here he is. Let's get into some blocking. Look at him anchor this particular zone run. He gets out front, angles off on the second level, allows the running back to get through there. Tributing to that run game, man. Miami Dolphins going to have to establish a very potent run game as well to really get to where they got to go. See him right here? Lean into the contact right there. Get hands on the inside. Hands on the inside. At least he tries to get hands. Now he has it. Hands on the inside right there. Now drive and angle off. Right? Usher my man back into the club. Right? That's something different right there. We've never seen a man ushered back into the club. Excuse me, sir. You need to get back in the club. Nothing to see out here. Boom. Allows this man to get by. Meaning the running back. Here he is. A little bit of drive blocking right here on Justin Foster. You can see the type of intensity that he'll compete with at the line of scrimmage blocking defensive ends. Look at that. Get your ass up out the club. Look at him. He's confused. He doesn't know what he want to do. He made one man get back in the club, made another man get out the club. Look at this. A man tries to slant. Hunter Long catches him on that, that outside shoulder right there and continues to drive his ass to the concession stand. Drive him to the concession stand. That's what a coach of mine used to say. That's hard. All right, here we go. This time you'll get him. You'll see having to have a meeting of the minds on the second level here with James Skalski. Boom, right there. You see that? That's always the worst right there. If you've ever been in that situation before and when you have a meeting of the minds and you literally – Bang, collide heads right there. So he's sleep, right? Let's see, he's mini sleeping. It's one of those good cat naps he took. He took a cat nap. Look at him. Now he recovered, and look at him get back at it with Skalski here. Get back at it. The muddies of water right here, the, the running back trying to go the other way. But you can see him competing right there. He's able to hold up to the brigade could come in and help him out a little bit. Then, boom. The lineman returns the favor to Skalski. Now he's taking a cat nap as well. Both these motherfuckers operating like weekend at Bernie's sleep. <laughs> Come on, man. I love football, man. I miss that physicality. If I have one critique of this man is that sometimes, I'm not sure if he gets lazy in his technique, but he'll end up hitting the ground like um, in blocking plays. Like, look at that. That's just too easy right there. What is that? That, my friend, is, uh, yeah, it's a regular six technique or something like that. He's blocking head up on. So you would imagine that they would give him that task and assign him to do that in the NFL right there. He's got to he's gotta be a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more stout than that. Look at that. He gets pushed off the plate easily and hits the ground there. So I remember a coach, I uh, used to tell the lineman on my team, and she, he'd be like, bring your ass, bring your ass, all the blockers and stuff like that. So, I used to be like, what the hell does bring your ass mean? You know what I'm saying? We got to pause. That. We got to pause. And some of you dudes be like, what does pause mean? Why would you have to pause it? Like, come on, man. Where, where you guys been for like the last 25 years? Here's another example here. I'm not sure what happened on this one right here. They rent with the combination block and then he goes down. Down goes long. So he, boom, working in combination right here. I'm not sure if he got tripped. Maybe well, I can guess I can kind of see that. You can see him eyeing the to get up to the next level though. So maybe him trying to get up to the next level with that foot out like that made him fall. But usually when that happens, man, you have to just have your hip hips synced a little bit more, right? You need to uh just bend at the knees a little bit more and strike right there. You'll just have better base. So maybe that's something they think that can they can work with him on there. And uh he should be fine there. But he's a really good blocker. Hashtag real men watch to the end. Thank you for everyone out there that does that.
You don't know how much that means to me, man. I want to talk to real football heads who just want to watch content, not goofballs who just want to jump in the comment section and think everything is a message board around the Internet. This is video content that people work hard on. So shout outs to the real men out there who watch to the end. And thanks to everybody who's been giving that quality channel support, too. I appreciate it. All right. So last one right here. Your man does a good job right here of, of angling off. Look at him. Meet the contact. Angle it off. Keep working with it. One more time. Meet the contact, angling off with it. He ain't scared. No scuredness in his bones right here. Look, boom, get on the inside, pop his head up the top like Jack in the Box. Look at that. Sometimes, though, he does need to, to really bend at the knees right there and really drive up on it right there. He does a, a pretty decent job of it right here, but you got to keep the, that those feet firing right there. Got to have that foot energy because you don't want somebody to step on you or something like that. As we can see, it almost happened right here. But keep those feet firing. And you should be good, but this is a good block right here. Usher that man. Got a man by his shirt lapel. I love it. All right, so there you have it, man. Hunter Long, I completely understand the pick if it's best available um you just want to get a bunch of talent on your team and let the chips fall where it may so uh, i don't know how you guys feel about the hunter long pick right there it was a third round pick i want to i want to say i want to say that a lot of y'all don't agree with it because some people have come on the channel and, and expressed that they didn't like the pick but i like the pick we should see how it works out in the future as far as the roster composition goes but maybe they want to get somebody on, on the field that could actually block and could work down the field and, and go and get it as a possession receiver as well. So you just never know how these things work out. I think Flores and these guys are doing a damn good job. And um, we shall see, man. We shall see. But thank you to everybody who watches Top Billing. All my Top Billing soldiers out there, the Top Billing Brigade. We are here, baby. We are in here. But with that being said, it's your boy Murph, the Underground King. Thanks for watching Top Billing Sports, and I am out. Peace. What more can I say? Top Billing. Top.